It was the first day of autumn in the Hundred Acre Wood, and everyone there was very busy spring or autumn cleaning. Or at least almost everyone was. Little Roo was otherwise occupied playing with his ball. Now Al was busy looking for something he had misplaced. Oh, I say, where has my memory book gone off to? I wonder why I can't remember. Carrots, carrots, carrots! I must gather more carrots. And Eeyore was having a particularly gloomy day. Pooh, however, was happily doing what he loves most. Eating honey. <laughs> Pooh Bear certainly loves honey. But honey was not on everyone's mind, especially not Tigger's. And a couple of a granosaurus. A granosaurus. Oh. A granosaurus. Wait a second, there, little piglet. Oh, <laughs> that's just a big old pile of leaves, that's, and they're very good for bouncing in. <laughs> a granosaurus, and it's right behind me. P -p Please save me, Christopher Robin! Don't be afraid, Piglet. There's nothing behind you. Sure, sure, there's nothing there. It's just your imagination. <laughs> what a frightened little Piglet you are. Quite sure. You know what, Piglet? You need to face your fears. Oh my goodness, no! I couldn't do... I mean, that would be... Face my fears, you say? That's right. To overcome a fear, you just have to stare it down. Believe in yourself, Piglet. You have a hero inside of you, just waiting to come out. But I'm too afraid, Christopher Robin, and I'm so very small. But heroes must be big and brave. Oh no, I'll never be a hero. And so as Roo was falling asleep, Pooh started to drift off as well. But as everyone was so preoccupied, they hadn't noticed Piglet. Feeling that he was too small and too easily frightened to help his friends, Piglet left the Hundred Acre Wood all alone and rather sad. Ah, yes. This is where you can start your adventure, at the spot where you last left it. If you would like to begin a new adventure, just stop and talk to our very industrious friend, Gopher. I could do with a smackerel of honey now. Just a small jar. Or two. Or three. Piglet were here, he would surely help me find some honey. Thought Pooh, falling asleep. And that's exactly what he was going to dream about. <laughs> and who is this? Could it be my young friend Piglet? Oh, hello, Owl. What a pleasure it is to see you. Now tell me, what are you doing in Pooh's dream? Would you perhaps be looking for a treasure? 
Oh no, Owl. I've come to see if Pooh might need my help. Ha <laughs> ha, bravo, Piglet. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Pooh is just on the other side of this gate. Oh, do be careful, Piglet. This caramel is quite sticky and I... I seem to have found myself... Um, rather a, a stuck in it. And it would be so bothersome if we both got stuck, don't you think? Oh, but, but Pooh, how did you get stuck in the caramel? Well, you see, I was searching for some money, and Rabbit thought this might be a good place to search. Well, at least I think that's what he told me. But now that I think about it some more, I could be mistaken. Hold on, Pooh. I'll get you out. That would be very nice. Thank you, Piglet. I suppose a stick might be useful. Uh. Hang on, oh. Pooh. I'll do my best to unstick you. Oh. Oh. oh, thank you, Piglet. You see, I've discovered that caramel is quite good for eating, but not so good for um, standing in. Now let's find Rabbit. I'm sure he knows where to find some honey. Come along now, Piglet. Follow me. And so it was that Piglet decided to follow his friend Winnie the Pooh in the hopes of helping him find some honey. Oh, bother. Piglet, there seems to be some cotton candy blocking the door. However shall we get through? Think, think. I do believe I've seen this cake before. And if this cake is here, then Rabbit must be over there. Will he be able to help us find the honey? Oh yes, Rabbit always has a smackerel or two of honey. <laughs> now how shall we get through this cotton candy? Think, think, think. I suppose we could eat it. Oh no, Pooh. There's much too much to eat. Yes, of course you're right, Piglet. But however shall we get to the other side then? if it isn't my dear friend Piglet, and I do believe you're looking for a way to get rid of some cotton candy. <laughs> Let's see. The weight multiplied by the mass squared divided by the height of the cotton candy uh, minus the... Uh, <laughs> Aha! A bit of water could be the solution. And we're better to find water than in a bottle. Bear, uh, could you help me? Of course, Piglet. Could you press the handle of the bottle? I'm a bit too small to reach it, you see. Oh, a bottle with handles. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Now, let's see. Oh, that did it. And now, perhaps we can find a rabbit and some honey from my tummy. Yes. Oh, thank you, Pooh. I'll go find Rabbit and ask him if he knows where some honey is. Piglet, perhaps you should go and find Rabbit, and I shall return to where I was before I was here. Oh, and also, Piglet, you know there may be half lumps in there. I suppose perhaps you should be rather careful. Half a lumps. Huh? Oh, hello.
Hello, Rabbit. Oh, hello, Piglet. I'm afraid I haven't much time to chat. I'm very busy, you see. I was just hoping to find some honey. Everyone's always in search of honey. First, Pooh eats all the honey in my cupboard, and now you. Anyway, I'm fresh out. Where then do you think I might find some more? If it's not too much trouble, that is. More honey? Well, there is some next to the beehive. Oh, but it's quite dangerous, Piglet. The bees won't let you near their honey unless you find some way to get them away from their beehive. Everything will be all right, Piglet. To overcome your fears, you must believe in yourself. Oh, thank you, Christopher Robin. I, I, I feel better already. Piglet, oh, you're braver than I thought. <laughs> and now that the bees are away, I shall be able to replenish my honey supply. <laughs> and, oh, and you'll need a honey pot too, won't you? Well, here's the key that unlocks a cupboard in my kitchen. There you'll find a pot ready to be filled with honey. Thank you, Rabbit. Full of honey pot. And now all I need to do is fill it with honey. Oh, I think Pooh will be very happy. <laughs> oh, Piglet, I don't suppose you did find a bit of honey by any chance, did you? My tumbling is rather rumbly. Oh, look, Pooh. It's just for you. Oh, yum. Honey. <laughs> there was nothing yum yum than honey. Thank you, Piglet. You are a very good friend indeed. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, Pooh. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> and so, despite the heffalumps and despite the woozles, the very brave Piglet managed to bring some honey back to his dear friend Pooh. Oh, thank you, Piglet. This is the tastiest, the most uh, delicious, oh, no, the yummiest honey I have ever eaten. Just a little higher. My ball. I can't seem to reach it. If only Piglet were here. Surely he could help me get my ball down. Thought Roo, falling asleep. And that's exactly what he dreamt about. Why, hello, Piglet, dear. Hello, Mrs. Kanga. You haven't seen my little Roo, have you? I don't know where he's gotten off to. No, I, I'm sorry, but I haven't seen him. Oh, would you do me a favor and find him for me? He has to clean up his room, you know. I'll do my best, Mrs. Kanga. Have you found Roo yet, Piglet? It's past time he came home and cleaned up his room. Ah! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Say there, Piglet. I'm doing my daily bounce. Oh, hello, Tigger. Hey, what's this fence doing here? It's keeping us Tiggers from bouncing. And a Tigger that can't bounce? Why, he's no Tigger at all. Maybe there's some way to open it, Tigger. Huh. I think you may be onto something, Piglet. I do remember I was seeing a little pool tab over there. Maybe if somebody pushed it up, it would open this fence and free up some bouncing room. But I'm suspecting that there's some heffalumps and woofles about. Maybe if you tried not to make any noise, they would notice you. Oh, you mean sneak around like? <laughs> sneak is what tickers do the best. I'll take care of this fence for you, Piglet. Just stand back and watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you look at that? Oh, thank you very much, Tigger. Don't mention it. Helping piglets is what Tiggers do the best. <laughs> oh. Yes, I, I came to get you. Kanga is very anxious to see you. But Piglet, I can't go home. I'm locked in. The door's shut behind me and I don't have a key. Oh dear, uh, how can we open it? I think the key's back in my house. Would you go ask my mama for it, Piglet? Oh certainly, Rue. I'll be right back. Have you finally found Rue, Piglet? Yes, Kanga, I have. He's in his playroom, but he's locked himself in and can't get out. D do you have the key? Oh, dear. Now, I'm sure I've seen that key someplace around the house. Oh, goodness, will you look at this mess? Rue has left his cookies just everywhere. Piglet, be a dear and gather them up while I look for the key. Oh, I'd be happy to. I like being helpful. I haven't found the key yet, Piglet. Goodness, there are just so many cookies. Why don't you keep gathering them up while I continue searching for the key? What a wonderful job you've done, Piglet. You cleaned up every last cookie. And I've found the key. So here you are. Hurry now. I'm sure Rue will be very happy to see you, the little dear. Thank you, King. Piglet, did you get the key? Really? You're happy to see me? Oh, yes, Piglet. And I need your help. Help? Uh-huh. My ball is up in that cloud, and I can't get it. I've got a ladder, but it's missing a rung. Eeyore told me he has a piece of wood. Do you think we could use it to fix the ladder? Oh, I'm sure we can. I I'll go and ask Eeyore if you like Rue. Oh, goody, Piglet. Thank you.
Hello, Eeyore. Oh, hello, Piglet. I'm surprised you noticed me. Eeyore, would you happen to have a piece of wood? I need it to fix a broken ladder for Roo. Oh, wouldn't you know. I'm looking for some wood, too, so that I can build my house again. I did notice a stick at the top of these stairs. I suppose you'll have to pull that tab to make the stairs appear. Do you mind if I keep the stick, Eeyore? Why not? After all, I've got the whole day to search for more wood. Oh, thank you, Eeyore. You sure are good at that, Piglet. Now you can fix the ladder for Roo. Yes, and I'll be able to get his ball, too. <laughs> Now you can fix the ladder for Roo. It's good news that you were able to get the stick. Hooray, Piglet! You got my ball back! Thank you, thank you! Ah! Ha! 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 Oh no! My ball! Oh, don't worry, Rue. I'll get it back. Uh, I, uh, think. Halt! None shall pass. Oh, please! I need to get through. Not so fast, small one. <laughs> but, but I have to get the ball back. It, it, it belongs to my friend Wu. So you want the ball? How touching! But you seem to be a little scared. Oh, I've an idea. If you scare me, I'll let you in. But I think you are much too frightened. <laughs> Be careful, Piglet! Thank you, Piglet. 
Piglet. I got my ball back thanks to you. As Rabbit continued counting his colors, and Tinker painted everything orange, Owl had fallen asleep, and Eeyore drooped into a rather gloomy dream. My book, my book, my memory book. Oh, where could it be? Not here. Hmm. Surely not here. I think he might be able to help me find my memory book. Say there, Sonny. You look like you're lost. Is there something I can help you with? Hello, Gopher. H have you seen Owl by chance? Owl? Oh, you mean the fellow who's lost his memory? His house is uh, at just behind these big doors. I do so want to help him, but how can I open these doors? I'm far too small. Sounds like you want my help. Sorry, nope, too big a project. I'm much too busy. Got tunnels to dig, you know. Bet you'd find some help over at the library. Yep, there's a chat sport inside. I'm willing to bet that Owl put a switch in there to open the doors. He's very good at architecting. Terrible at excavating, though. Oh, thank you very much, Gopher. You betcha. Got a skedaddle. Hello, Piglet. What brings you here? I'm looking for a chessboard. A gopher told me you would open the big doors to Owl's house, and I have to get inside to help Owl find his memory. Hmm. A chessboard? Yes. I think I saw it in the library just a bit farther on. But first, I shall open this gate for you. Really? Of course, Piglet. I'll just press the button. But there are quite a lot of woozles and heffalumps in there, so I shall have to be very quiet or they may hear me. You see, I don't think they want that button pushed. Oh my, I am rather rumbly in my tumbly. Oh, thank you, Pooh Bear. I sure am counting on you. Of course, Piglet. Oh, bother. There, Piglet. I opened the gate for you, but I almost didn't make it. There were ever so many heffalumps and woozles about, you see. Oh, thank you very much, Pooh Bear. This adventure has made me rather hungry. I'm just going to eat a small smackerel of honey. Or, um, perhaps a, um, a smackerel or two more. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Pooh Bear sure likes his honey. Four tons of ground multiplied by 123 wheelbarrows. Snipper and sassafras! 
You made it in here without digging? Why, yes. I suppose that I did. Well then, Sonny, I'll certainly help you out. So, you say you want to open the doors to Owl's house? Oh, yes. Thank you. Well, to do that, you see, you'll have to play this game. Just push one of the white chess pieces, and then you'll have checkmate. Simple as that. Oh, it seems very complicated. Mm, don't be silly. That owl just likes playing games. It's really quite simple. Just push one of the white chess pieces, and you win. All right. And we can get to the bottom of what's happened to Owl's memory. Owl, bit of wet. <gasps> no, 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 that's not it. Don't you remember me? My name is... No, I forgot. I forgot everything. Who you are, who I am, who we are. What an immeasurable disaster. I must get my book of memories back. It contains my memory. But obviously, I can't remember where it is. Oh, maybe I can help you, Owl. Ah, that would be very nice. Thank you, Kinglet. <laughs> Piglet. If I remember things correctly, which I don't, we have to find the true paintings of my missing ancestors to gain access to the memory book. Of course, I can't remember why. I'll do my best to get them for you, Owl. I promise. My ancestor's paintings, Lipkit. must be done with all those wobbly things. Yes, that's it! That's just what I needed, Blippet! Now, if my deductions are correct, 
My book of memories must be behind this secret passage. Let's go together, Owl. Well, 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 well I, 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 I think I shall wait for you uh, right here. You see, uh, without my glasses, I <laughs> won't see a thing. Maybe if you like this room, I can follow you. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's the way. of books. Hurrah! My book. <laughs> my, my book. You have restored my past. Piglet. Oh, I call you Piglet. I recovered my memory. <laughs> oh, I'm very happy for you, Owl. I can never thank you enough, my young piglet! <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome! And so it was that Owl finally recovered his memory, thanks to the courage and bravery of our small but big-hearted friend, Piglet. <laughs> my memory book! <laughs> oh, thank you, Piglet! This is an act of kindness I shall never forget. Ed figures all the colors have gone away. I'm sure if Piglet were here, he'd make this gray day seem a little brighter. Thought he uh, falling asleep? And that's exactly what he dreamt about. Piglet! Hey, Piglet! Oh, uh, uh, hello, Roo. Do you know what's happening here? I'm not sure, but this place is a little scary. Everything's kind of dark. Eeyore sure seems to be sad, even for Eeyore. You're right! Maybe that's why his dream is so dark. Do you think you could cheer him up, Piglet? You gotta be careful, though. There are woozles all around.
Hello, Beglet. Oh, hello, Eeyore. How are you doing today? As good as can be expected. Are you sad about something? Not less than usual. It's just kind of gray in here is all. I did notice that there are a lot of colors missing. Yup, that's true. But I'm used to it. Don't worry, Eeyore. I'll find all the colors of your dream for you. That's very kind of you, Piglet. Piglet. Yes, Eeyore? Thanks for noticing me. One of the colors! <laughs> to catch it. Looking at this drawing, it seems I have to do something with the faucets. The drawing says that too much pressure will pop the valve off. Oh, if that happened, I could use the valve somewhere else. Oh, I understand. That's it. It's turned on. That's it. It's turned off. That's it. It's turned on. That's it. It's turned off. I have to catch it! La la!
to catch it. It sure is pretty with all the colors back, if you like that sort of thing. <laughs> oh no, looks like we've got visitors. But it's too dark. We can't see anything at all. Maybe we should light the candles. What a good idea, Eeyore. I'll go ask Rue to lend us his lamp. Did you get Rue's lamp? Cause it's still dark in here, Piglet. Rue, you think I might borrow your lamp? Sure, Piglet. Thank you. Piglet, I think I'm gonna go home. It's just too dark in here. Good luck. Thanks, Piglet, for lighting the room again. <laughs> my, my. What do we have here? You may have frightened me last time, but that won't happen again. Try to frighten me. Go ahead. Woo! I'm so scared. <laughs> frightened you. Seems to happen a lot. Oh no, it's all right. I'm very happy to see you. Well, thanks for saying it. I want to thank you, Piglet. You brought the colors back in my dream. You lit the candles again. And because of you, 
There are no more heffalumps in my house. <laughs> because of, of me, Eeyore? Yup. And you did it all just to help me. Thanks for cheering me up, Piglet. Uh, uh, you're welcome, Eeyore. <laughs> and so it was that Piglet proved, yet again, that despite the obstacles, and despite his fears, if you wish hard enough for something, you can make your wish come true. Having all the colors back kinda turns a gray day sunny. Thanks for your help, Piglet. It's raining. Oh, my carrots. My carrots! <laughs> and a little bit of teeth. Look at my stripes. My wonder, my tiggerfied stripes. <laughs> My carrots! My, my carrots! My carrots! Must get my carrots to save me! They'll be ruined! Oh, my carrots! Ah, oh, if only Piglet were here! He could help me save my carrots from the rain. Thought Rabbit, falling asleep, and that's exactly what he dreamt about. Oh no, Piglet, not now. I'm much too busy. It's going to rain, and all my carrots will be flooded. If I don't get my carrot extractor working correctly, everything will be ruined. Oh, what a disaster! What can I do to help, Rabbit? I've got to fix this machine. <laughs> oh no! My carrots! How am I going to get them all picked if I'm stuck here? Piglet! Please! I need to get the extractor going again! Hmm. Sunny. Oh, hello again, Gopher. Step to it! You've got to help Rabbit before it rains. If you don't, his carrot patch will be ruined. And that will make all of my tunnels fall in. Can't have that. No siri! I need to help get the extractor running again. Well, seems to me it's missing a cog. Well, I'm sure I've got one in a cellar near here. Problem is, I don't have the key. <laughs> Piglet, please help get the carrot extractor going again. Hello there, Piglet! And how are you on the sunshiny day? I'm very well, thank you, Tigger. Today I'm helping Rabbit put carrots in his shelter, so I was looking for a way to cross the stream. Oh. Cross and stream, eh? <laughs> That's what take us to the best. Just let me take a look over this way. But I gotta be real quiet like so. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> 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 Uh, 
Say, looky here, a raft! I bet you this'll come in handy! <laughs> well, would you look at that? Oh, thank you very much, Tigger. Don't mention it. Helping piglets is what Tiggers do the best. <laughs> You just need to put it back into the machine. Ah! There you are! All that remains now is uh, to get the machine running again. But you better hurry up when you do it. A few seconds is all you have because of the pressure system, you know. A few seconds. One, two, three. Or it doesn't work. Superior work! Couldn't have done it better myself. Better go help your friend Rabbit save his carrots before it rains. No time to lose, Sonny. Go help Rabbit, or the rain will ruin everything. Hooray, Piglet! It's working! Huh? <laughs> oh no, the conveyor belt's not running. Uh, Piglet, could you get it running again? Uh, there's a boiler near my tomato patch. Just take the key on the ground, it'll open the door.
Wonderful! The belt is running! <laughs> Ouch! Oops! Oh. Oh, gee. Good work, Piglet. Now just pull the lever right here beside me. And would you be so kind as to open the gate so I can get out of this mess? What's going on? Just push down on the wooden log to open the gate for me. Uh, thanks. Ouch! You must push down on the wooden log to open the gate for me. Hmm. Uh, thanks. Oh, ouch! You must push down on the wooden log to open the gate for me. Uh, thanks. Ouch! You must push down on the wooden log to open the gate for me. Hmm. Uh, thanks. Please, you must help me out of this cart, or we'll be facing an utter disaster. <laughs> oh, thank you, Piglet. Without your help, the rain would surely have ruined my precious carrots. Oh, you're very welcome, Rabbit. But, but it was nothing, really. And so Piglet showed that despite being a very small animal, that just like Rabbit, he too could finish things right on time. My carrots. My, my carrots. My carrots. You saved my precious carrots. Oh, thank you, Piglet. Without my tigger stripes, I'm nothing but a second rate tigger! If my friend Piglet was here, I just know that he could help me track down my tigger stripes. I saw Tigger falling asleep, and that's exactly what he dreamt about. Hi there, Piglet! No. Is the atrocious syphilis no tiger stripes on a tiger? It just can't be! <laughs> oh, my stripes! Hurry, Piglet! We gotta catch a tiger! Well, alright, I, I, I guess I could help. It's my tiggery stripes! <laughs> Hello 
there, Piglet. I don't suppose you're looking for Tigger, but if you are, I saw him just a bit ago. At least I think it was him. For you see, the Tigger I think I saw did not have any stripes, so I'm not sure it was our Tigger after all. Mm. where Tigger is? I think he's too embarrassed to be seen without his stripes. He bounced to the top of that tree. I didn't even think Tiggers could bounce that high. But we really should try to make him feel better, don't you think, Rue? Oh yes, Piglet. I think there's another way to reach him. Let's go around to the other side. This way. Huh? Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, P -P Piglet, you should keep moving. Don't want you to catch cold. The winter is extra blustery this year. <laughs> oh, well, well, you should go inside, Rabbit. You're shivering. No, no, not too cold for me. I've got work to do. You see, I'm looking for some rare seeds of a special kind of giant extra delicious carrot. Mm -hmm. They only come out in the winter, and it's very hard to find them. But Piglet, if you do happen to cross one, please bring it to me so I can plant it in my garden. Are you okay, Pooh Bear? Ooh. Oh, yes, Piglet. I'm quite well. I have just been following this butterfly, but now my tummy's too rumbly to follow any longer. Perhaps if I had a small smackerel of honey, my tummy would be ready for some more following. And I'm quite sure that one part would be enough. Look at this! A giant carrot seed! Oh, thank you, Piglet. I shall go immediately back to my garden and start planting. <laughs> now then, do take my hot water bottle to warm yourself. You know, just a smallish pot of honey like this would be quite enough to tide me over till lunch. And my rumbly tumbly agrees. Oh, wonderful. It's honey. Oh, do slow down, Pooh Bear, or you may get a tummy ache. Oh, is it finished already? No, oh, yes. Just the sticky part is left. Well, now, 
I do believe that I could use just a small smackerel more. Pooh Bear, would you know how to make this ice go away? Well, Christopher Robin once told me that shouting very loudly can break glass. Do you suppose that ice would break too? From shouting very loudly, that is. I guess we shall never know unless we try. Hello, honeypots! You know, I don't think that my songs are meant for very loud singing. Perhaps you should try, Piglet. Okay, Pooh Bear, I'll try. La 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 la! Think, think, think. You know, perhaps if we had a higher voice, such as Rose, it would work. I shall go look for him. I think that he is somewhere nearby. I think we're missing a bridge. The bridge for me to cross over, that is. No, I can't remember why I want to cross the river again. Think, think, think. Oh well, never mind. I shall go see Piglet again. Perhaps he has another pot of honey for me. <laughs> oh, it's, it's rather... Oh, oh, it's rather no. slippery. <laughs> Sorry, Piglet. I must have slipped. Oh, but look, Pooh, look! You've cleared the way! Oh! <laughs> and here's some honey, just like you wanted. Oh, my! Thank you, Piglet! <laughs> oh! <laughs> We still need help to climb up and rescue Tigger. I think we need a whoopee flower. They're good for bouncing real high. Now that you planted the seed, we gotta water it just like Rabbit does. <laughs> Tigger? Tigger? Ooh, this is a catastrophe. Catastrophe. Tigger, you're all orange. Have you really lost your stripes, Tigger? Yeah. And a Tigger with no stripes is the worstest kind of a Tigger. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to be a stripeless tigger forever. Aww, poor tigger. Oh, don't worry, tigger. We'll get your stripes back for you. For real? Oh, thanks, piglet old pal. You know, I I, I saw them striping these pounce off towards the carnival. Maybe you could try looking there. <laughs> it looks like my balloonie is a blocking the way. We're gonna have to pop it, Piglet, so we'll need something kind of sharp. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs>
Good luck there, Piglet, in finding my Tigger Stripes, that is. Let's go look for him at the carnival! Have you seen Tigger's stripes? Yes, I've seen them. This way. They're hidden in the haunted house, but the gate is locked. Wait, Piglet, I've got an idea on how to open it. strange sign on the ground. Do you think a heffalump or a woozle could have dropped it? Maybe if you find the other three symbols, you can open this gate. What does it say, Rue? I think Tigger's trying to tell us he locked himself in the haunted house so that no one will have to look at a stripeless Tigger. That sure doesn't sound like our Tigger. I guess losing his stripes has really made him scared. Oh, Piglet, we just have to find Tigger and his stripes. Huh? What? You again? You don't give up, do you? All right, let's go. You? <laughs> Thank you! 
you, Piglet. I sure did miss my Tiggery stripes. Oh, Tigger, where have you been? I got all surrounded by Woozle Fee, so I bounced in here to think of a plan for getting past him. <laughs> but thanks to you, this place is Woozle Free. You know, Piglet old pal, I think that you might be just almost as brave as a Tigger, almost. Oh, you, you really think so? Why, well, you betcha! <laughs> <laughs> And so it was, that thanks to his dream, Tigger understood that even if his friend Piglet did not look like a Tigger, he certainly had the courage and strength of one. I'm back to being my same old self, with all my Tiggerific strengths, and it's thanks to you, Piglet! <laughs> And as everyone slept peacefully, the rain continued to fall. Down and down it fell, until the water began to rise and rise. Oh dear, if this continued, the water would rise over Piglet's friends who were all asleep. To overcome your fears, you must believe in yourself. And so, that is how. A very small piglet became a very big hero. But he was not yet finished saving his friends. He still had to find a way to join them. Help! Piglet! Hello, piglet! Over here! To be afraid, you're safe now. I guess I am. Oh, thank you, Piglet. of memories, there's a picture of you fleeing from monsters by flying. By flying? Oh, how silly of me, of course! Flying! Right you are! I'm coming, Piglet! <laughs> Thank you, my small friend. Without you, I can't imagine what I would have done. Oh, <laughs> You're welcome, Howell. I think I'll keep stretching my wings and have a look about. <laughs> Bye, Howell! Thank you, Piglet. I would have been quite unrescued without your rescuing. Oh, listen, adventure has made me rather um, hungry. Once again, Piglet, full of courage, went off to save his friend. <laughs> Piglet, do something, please! Piglet! Piglet! Over here! 
We're here! This tiger needs rescuing! A hero! You caught me under that flood, and buddy, that is something a tiger will never forget! Thank you, Piglet. Whew, that was close. <clears throat> Quite a frightful situation. <laughs> Not that I was frightened, of course. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have to go. Got lots of carrots to pick up, you know. Shouldn't have bothered yourself for me, Piglet. But Eeyore, I couldn't let you down. Well, thank you, Piglet, for helping me. out of this muddlesome mess. <laughs> oh yes, it was very brave of you, Piglet. Oh my, I, I do hope nothing has happened to Christopher Robin. Oh, Christopher Robin! Where have you all been? I've been looking all over for you. I was starting to get worried. Oh, there's nothing to worry about, Christopher Robin. We're all quite safe and sound, thanks to Piglet. Really? Thanks to Piglet? You faced your fears, didn't you, Piglet? I'm so very proud of you. It's thanks to you, Christopher Robin. I just followed your advice. Come now, Piglet. It was you, and you alone, who faced all those fears. Now I suppose that you all must be very hungry after that big adventure. And so it was that Piglet had become a hero to all his friends. And he would never again think that he was too small or too frightened. <laughs> <laughs>